Hello again everybody, my name is Noel Craig. This is the second video in a series of videos covering the production of medieval male armour, popularly known as chainmail. And this video covers one of the initial processes of coil making. Okay, and I've got some supplies here with me. Uh, first of all, this is a, a spool of iron wire. I also have a a 200 millimeter bolt cutter. A cordless drill. and a six millimeter mandrel. So to get started, I'm going to take my spool of iron and I'm gonna cut a length of it. I'll do this off camera. I am, of course, cutting the wire with the 200 millimeter bolt cutter. Right, okay. So here we have our length of iron wire. Uh, now the next thing I'm gonna do is insert my six millimeter mandrel into my cordless drill. So I'm going to insert it into the keyless chuck and then I'm going to tighten the chuck. Like so. Just uh, have a quick look over the mandrel, make sure that it is aligned properly. Now, before we go any further, I want to just highlight a safety issue in coiling iron wire. Iron differs a little bit from other metals in that uh, <clears throat> it uh, reacts with the air and as a result of that it very easily rusts. So during production of iron wire they uh, process a sooty charcoal layer over the wire, um, it's, it's just called carbon, and this is uh, helpful in, in one way for us, but also unhelpful. Um, the problem is that when we're coiling iron, this soot or carbon scale increases the friction on our hands. And it's very, very easy to get a, a, a friction burn. And in the uh, last time I, I tried this, I got a friction burn within about three seconds. It tore a good um, millimeter of skin off my thumb. So that's why I'm, I'm carrying uh, or, or wearing some electrical tape. Okay, and this is a, a safety measure that I now uh, in, incorporate before I I make any coil so that's something I, I recommend doing okay is just cover up your thumb or whatever part of the hand you intend on using for creating the coil right anyway getting back to it what I'm going to do I'm going to take my length of iron wire and I'm going to insert it into the keyless chuck on the drill like that and I'm going to bend the wire over the mandrel not under okay and then I'm going to just bend it forward a little bit not too much um, about that far okay 
any more than that and um, you will start having problems okay rather, rather than getting a coil the wire tends to lap over itself and you, you end up with a, just a, a mess of wire that's no use okay so holding the wire with my thumb like that I'm just going to tap the trigger on the drill and a coil should hopefully start to form there we go okay so th there we have a small length of iron coil I can now remove that from the mandrel and before we do anything else I like to remove the mandrel from the drill because if you put the drill down and your mandrel still connected if you're not paying any attention you might knock the drill over and you might end up damaging your mandrel okay so I, I like to take that off first and put it away somewhere safe okay so let's have a look at the coil up close it looks reasonably good yep nothing wrong with that okay so what do I do with the coil then uh, rather than getting straight down to cutting this coil up to make rings I like to put my coils into a coal fire I would heat the coal fire up I would place these on top of the coal fire and then I would allow the coal fire to just uh, gradually reduce back down to room temperature and there's two reasons for doing so the first is that uh, a reaction occurs in, in the FR uh, between the iron and the air. A flaky scale is formed over the wire and I find that useful to have later on. Another reason is because the iron undergoes a change normally iron is quite springy okay and unfortunately that springiness is a unwelcomed property in mail making okay uh, so what I, I want to do is try to remove as much of that springiness as possible and you can do that by heating the iron up and then gradually bringing that temperature back down. Uh, I, I think the technical term for that is the process of annealing the wire as opposed to tempering the uh, wire. Uh, it removes the springiness, it makes it much easier for us to form the iron into the shape we need it to be in. And that is really um, all we need to know for now about uh, the production of coils for chain mill. Thank you very much for watching. I will try to get the next video up as soon as I possibly can. Have a nice day. Bye bye.